Hey there, Clashers. Welcome back. Willie here again, and this month in March, I did my first clan war league with the WHF family of clans. So I joined up with these guys after the February clan war league. And so, yeah, this was my first clan war league over here. So I got to participate over here in WHF Rising. Uh, we are working on getting this clan up into the Champions League. So we were in Masters this month, so you can see we got promoted there to Champions 3. No problem, we actually crushed it. We can take a look at the group here. So we had a pretty good separation between us and the second place team. A couple of the wars were surprisingly close, but other than that we pulled away uh, pretty handily and picking up that number one spot. So next month, uh, WHF Rising will be pushing up towards Champions 2. So for me, this was my first ever Clan War League with an actual competitive group. So all of my Clan War Leagues prior have been with uh, pretty laid back, casual clans for the most part. Uh, Crimson Fog would probably be the most competitive I'd been in for Clan War League prior to this month. But uh, it was a great experience, everybody's working together. Uh, really well, planning in voice chat, posting sketches, all that good stuff that you would expect from high level players. So with that, let's get into some of these replays. Alright, so the first attack we will take a look at here is from Norse of Orc coming in with the Yeti Bomb Hybrid. So, we'll see a couple of balloons come in from 9 o'clock. He's going to send that blimp in with the Yetis to that single target Inferno, and that's going to clear out that entire compartment there. So there's the blimp that's going to drop right on top of that Inferno Tower and the Yetis will come out and start working on those defenses as well as the Yeti Mites. He does not use a Rage for that, but the uh, Queen, she's coming in. Another balloon up there, check for any more Seeking Air Mines. Wizard's going to help cut that funnel off so that she goes in the right direction and the healers are just about to come in for her. So she is going to work over there and get that first scatter shot taken care of and of course get the uh, pathing started for the Miners. So the CC is out and the Queen's going to take care of that with the help of the poison there. So the three Ice Golems going to hold her up for just a little bit. The Baby Dragon's over there helping get that funnel going. So she'll take care of those Ice Golems and then work into that cannon and get the scatter shot taken down as well as the Bomb Tower over there and a few other defenses. So there's the King. He's going to get the other side of the funnel taken care of as well as the Enemy King. So he is going to have to uh, use his ability here as he takes on the Enemy King. So there he goes, ability is used, it's going to push him through that king and that storage, and then he can work down towards the 3 o'clock corner, and that'll cut off the funnel for the hybrid, which is going to come right down at the town hall here in just a little bit. So the queen did have to hit her ability over here, she did work through the CC, and the scatter shot is down. She's going to take down that expo over there, and then now she's working through the wall. So she's going to work on that wall a little bit, and then the miners and the hybrid is going to start coming in up here along the 1 o'clock side. So the Royal Champion did go in, has to drop that free spell, she does hit her ability because of that Inferno Tower, but she is going to be able to work through because of the free spell, and she's going to go down to the enemy Royal Champion here, finds a Skelly Trap as well, uses the Warden's ability with a Rage spell, that's going to push the Hogs and the Miners right on in there, they do get caught up in a Tornado Trap, at least the Hog Riders do, the Miners got caught on the uh, Royal Champion, but everything regroups, heads back into the core. They got the Eagle down, another Rage spell came down with a heal spell there. He's going to drop his last heal here on that scatter shot. That's going to help with the Wizard Tower here. Now the last Wizard Tower on the back end, the Queen's actually going to be able to reach that Wizard Tower once she works into the wall there. So this Wizard Tower is going to go down soon. The Hogs have to work through that Archer Tower. There they go, working through that Wizard Tower. It's going to go down. The Queen's got the other Wizard Tower down. Drops in the last couple of balloons. That's going to help pick off some of those defenses with the Hog Riders and then start working on cleanup on that end. Over here, he does have some Miners left as well as some minions that he had out of the camps. So he's got plenty of troops for cleanup and a great hit here for WHF Rising. Next up, we're going to take a look at a hit here from Dr. Satan. We do have another Yeti Bomb entry, but this time it is not the hybrid, it is just Miners. So we will see the Yeti, the Yeti Bomb starting off from the south side of the base, going into that Inferno Tower compartment, getting it cleared out, getting the CC lured, and establishing a clear pathing for the Queen Walk, which is going to wrap around the outside of the base. We will see that come down once the uh, Yetis have finished up in here. 
So that compartment is pretty well cleared out. Getting some more of these defenses down around the outside. So that Tesla is going to go down. Here comes the Queen. A couple more balloons testing for any seeking air mines. And then the healers are going to follow that up. And the Queen can take care of that CC with no problem. Doesn't even need to use his poison there. He can hold on to that in case there's a bunch of skellies in the core of the base. So a couple more balloons over here going to take down that Archer Tower. Baby Dragon follows that up, gets some of that trash taken care of. So that makes sure the Queen does go in the right direction here. So the King has come down over here by the 9 o'clock corner. He's getting some of that trash cleared out getting that pathing established for the miners which are going to come down over here and head straight into the base towards that eagle and go right on through the middle and the king's going to have to hit his ability here he is going to be able to take care of the enemy royal champion as well which is a big help especially for the miners she's not going to uh, be pulling them off course and taking any of them out so the eagle is active now rage spell down for the queen she's going to work up towards the town hall getting that wizard tower taken down Miners are coming in now with the Warden, and they're going to work straight into the base. So the Queen is going to go down, unfortunately, before she gets to the Town Hall. So the Miners will have to take care of that on the back end. Royal Champion came down at 9, where the King left off, getting some of those defenses taken care of. Rage Spell in the core. Miners are working quickly through those uh, high HP buildings, and they're going to work towards the back end of the base. He does still have a couple of Poison Spells or not poison freezes he does have the poison spell of course if he needed it but it looks like the uh, skelly traps are on air so he uses one of the freezes there shuts down the town hall before it does too much damage he's going to drop the next one there so that gives the miners plenty of time to work in here and get that town hall taken down and then move on so hits the warden's ability which is perfect because there were some miners there which uh or skeletons that kept the miners above ground when the town hall blew up but that's pretty much it. It looks like he's got all of his miners still left on the base. A great hit here for Dr. Satan. Okay, so next up we're going to take a look at one of my triples here. And I'm actually coming into this one with a Yeti Bomb Hall Grader attack. So the Yeti Bomb coming in from the north side of the base. Bunch of balloons there tanking for the blimp. Uh, checking for any Sams and getting some early defenses out of the way. So I dropped the blimp right on the scatter shot, and the plan here was to take care of the enemy queen, the scatter shot, and the eagle. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get the eagle down with this Yeti entry. But I also get the CC lured. I've got a baby dragon up at the top. He's going to work on getting that funnel because I want the queen to work down towards the 9 o'clock side. I'm going to keep her on the outside, so she's going to walk around. And of course she is also going to take care of the Electro Dragon. So the Electro Dragon, by the way, that's a terrible troop to take in a, a defensive CC. Uh, pretty much anything else would be better. She's going to be able to handle that with no poison. So she takes a couple shots, gets that guy down, and now I can let her go about her business and start working on the Hog Riders over here. So I do have the Eagle up, which I did not plan to have, and uh, I've got to make sure I get the Town Hall as well. So I hang on to the RC for now. This was actually a slight adjustment for the plan. I was going to send her with the Hog Riders, but it was mentioned I might miss the Town Hall. So switched up the plan a little bit, got the first heal spell down, got the freeze on the scatter shot, keeping the Hogs alive as they work in there to get that taken care of. Eagle shots are coming down now, but the Eagle is about to go down. It looks like we got one heroic Hog Rider up there working on that thing and getting it taken down. So the hogs are going to move up and away from the town hall and this last heal spell was placed really badly so I hit the warden's ability to keep those hogs alive. For some reason I was thinking the hogs were going to the town hall next but they didn't. They skipped up to the sweepers instead which makes sense if you look at it. But I do have the royal champion down there. She's working on the town hall. It goes down. She can work up into this compartment over here. A whole bunch of defenses in this little section that need to go down. We've got an inferno tower there. I hit the uh, royal champion's ability get those defenses weakened up a bit. I do still have my queen. She's at full health with her ability as well. The enemy RC is going to take my RC out. Not a big deal at this point. There are a couple of defenses down here, but I've got cleanup troops working around, and then I've got the queen. Like I said, she still has her ability, so she just needs to work down through here. She could take out the rest of this base on her own. We will speed up the cleanup a little bit. These troops do survive. The queen, I'm going to use her ability, get her through those Teslas just a little bit faster, and then the Warden and the Miners are going to finish off the CC for the triple. All 
All right, next up, we're getting away from the uh, Yeti bomb attacks just a little bit. We had a lot of Yeti bomb attacks. We also had attacks that did not use the Yeti bomb. So here we have Drew coming in with the Queen Charge Miner. So we got a bit of a trolley base here. I'm sure we've all seen some designs that look like this uh, around. So he's got the, uh, he dropped one miner in there. That triggered a bunch of traps. He got the CC lured. Now the Queen's over here. She's got the poison spell down. She's going to work through the CC. Again, we have an Electro Dragon. Not going to be a problem for her. She is going to get through that fairly easily and then start working into the base. So Baby Dragon in up here at the top. It's going to move in and get taken down by the air defense. So not a ton of value from that. But the Queen's going to go into the Enemy King now. He's got to drop the Rage spell. So there's the Rage. Just gets those healers into it. So he's going to get pretty good value from the Rage spell. She's going to work through that King. Get through the storage and then continue into the base towards the town hall so now she's going to take on the enemy queen get her taken down drops a wizard that's going to help uh, get some more of the trash up here taken out and that's going to help with the pathing so the enemy queen is down now she's going to start taking down the scatter shot and then work over towards the town hall so already he's gotten pretty good value from this queen charge entry and the air defense is down now she's onto the town hall the uh, Town Hall is targeting the healers, unfortunately, so he drops a free spell on that. So the Town Hall is going to go down in a couple more shots. There it goes. The healers are just barely hanging on. So another Rage spell comes down, hopefully to push her in just a little bit further. But she is going to start going down to all the damage that's in this area. So the enemy RC is there. She hits her ability and goes down immediately because of the scatter shot. Now the miners are coming in up here on the top side. The king went in at 12 and he's working down that side a little bit, helping to get the uh, miners to stay in this little aisleway that's been set up by the queen. So the heal spells down, the warden ability has been used and they're going to work in towards that eagle. Now the king has gone down, he sends in the slammer that's coming in from the top side. It does have hog riders in it and they're going to meet up nicely with the royal champion as she's working her way around the defenses. So the Slammer is targeted by the Inferno Tower. So the Hog Rider is going to come out, join up with the RC there, and they're going to start working through the last of these defenses on this side. Just a couple more things down here at the bottom as well. Still has a whole bunch of miners up, and it looks like he has one more healer getting a bit of health back into these miners as they work through these defenses. So the RC ability gets those defenses taken down to low health and taken out. Just one Tesla left with the mortar there. And that is all she wrote for this base. A nice triple for Drew and WHF Rising. Alright, next up we've got Ben coming in with a Queen Charge Hog Rider attack. So the way this uh, Town Hall is positioned, it's pretty clear where the Queen Charge is going to come from. So he's going to drop a balloon over here. That's going to take out the mortar, and that's all he's going to do for the funnel on that side. So the Queen's going to come in right here at the Dark Elixir Drill. A balloon comes in. That one is to check for any Seeking Air Mines before the healers come in. So the balloon's going to go in, actually finds a couple of Teslas that the Queen's going to have to deal with. He does get the CC lured, so it's on its way down here to uh, take on the Queen. And he finds a Skelly Trap as well, a couple of Teslas with the King. So he drops the Poison spell there. Unfortunately, he's just a little bit too slow with that Rage spell. He is going to lose the Queen's ability, which would have been a lot nicer to have a little bit deeper into the base. But he will be able to keep her alive and make do with what he's got. So... The poison is taking out the balloon. Balloon's going to go down. She's going to take out the Teslas and then take out the enemy king. He is going to need another rage spell here, of course. And then she's going to step up and start taking out the town hall. So the king's just about to go down. There's the next rage spell. Now she's onto the town hall and it is going to go down fairly easily. So she's working through that and then she's going to work through some of these buildings over here. For now, the king is coming in at 12 o'clock. He's getting through some of these trash buildings as well as some of the outside defenses so that the Hog Riders have this nice path that they can take right into the middle of the base. So he does have to use a free spell over here to take out the enemy RC and the enemy queen because he doesn't have uh, any ability to use and he's only got one rage spell left and he's going to use that with the Hog Riders because they only have one heal. So he does hit the king's ability, he's working through those buildings. 
There's the heal spell. Actually, he had two heals. He dropped the first one already. So the hogs are in here. They're taking on the double scatter shot. So he drops that rage spell so they can go through quickly and then hits the warden's ability so that they stay alive through the scatter shots because those scatter shots do a ton of damage. There are actually a lot of holes in this base. I'm wondering if he could have triggered any traps by dropping a, a giant or something into those little holes before dropping the hogs. But anyway, the hog riders are still moving through. They have the RC there. He dropped the slammer in up here. It didn't go very far, but it did drop more hog riders onto the base. He is out of spells, but he's got a lot of hogs still up. And he got the healer swap, although he lost all the healers to the air bombs over there. So they're not going to be helping out at all. So the hog riders, they're still moving through. He's still got quite a few of them up, uh, doing fairly well. He's got the RC with her ability, and he's just got the bomb tower and some cannons down here to deal with. Other than that, this base is pretty much done for. He put a couple of miners in up at the top to help with cleanup. They can go under those walls, so they're great cleanup troops for this kind of thing. A couple of wizards down here. No defenses left, and this is crushed. A great hit here from Ben of WHF Rising. So that's going to be it for my recap of this Clan War League. A lot of attacks to uh, look through. I just selected a couple of them, obviously I could have done a lot more. But those were some of my favorite attacks from the week. But if you guys are interested in seeing more of this content, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed this video, of course, be sure to click that thumbs up. Thank you guys for stopping by and I will see you all next time.